Bear 1000 here. Today I'm just going to be hanging out with you guys. I'm going to go cut the grass. Monkey went down to get me some gasoline for a tractor. Uh, got some cool videos coming up. One, well, this one's not so cool. It's just a video. The company sent this to me. It's a, a phone holder. Looks like a pretty neat one. And we got this thing. This is really nice. So I can't wait to get that put together. A uh, company sent that to me. That's right, guys. Yep. The tires for the Corvette. Look how wide these things are. 275, which makes it, um, I believe it's like 10.8 inches wide. So, and 40s, which is your sidewall. And then 17 inch. I think they're rated at W98, which I, whatever, whatever rating I got, I can't remember. I don't have my glasses on. But, uh, which means this thing will, uh, these, now they're not the best tires, but they're one step up from the cheapest. They're Generals, G Maxes. Um, so they should bear it for us. But they're rated so. You can run 149 miles an hour plus all day long. You don't have to worry about them blowing out. Good to know, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, there they are. Yeah, they're a 98W. So that's pretty cool. So we got those. Got them at a bargain price, man. Really good price. Um, still not cheap, you know. They're hundred and something a piece. I think uh, it was free shipping. I ordered these Wednesday, and I got them yesterday. I ordered well, I ordered them Wednesday night, and got them yesterday about noon or a little after. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, not even a full two days they were here. They do have a warranty and all that stuff. So, uh, so I got to get the master cylinder put on the vet. So, uh, I think I'm just going to take, I don't know, we'll see, take wheels and tires off and then take them down. I don't know if we'll drive the vet now. Depends on if I get the master cylinder on um, or stove. I bought a new burner for it. See, the old burner blew out, so I put a new burner in it. It works fine, everything works fine, but this stopped working. I can't get one. I can't get one of these touch pads. So what a shame everything works. So we found one of these on Facebook Marketplace. We're supposed to go later on today and pick it up as soon as the guy gets where he's got to get or whatever. Anyway, for 75 bucks, it's the same exact one. Except this is 20 years old, maybe even 21 years. We've had it for, what, five years. And that's the only thing that went bad other than this. Now, this quit working. I normally wouldn't worry about it because, you know, everything else works. The oven works great, except on this one, it don't have a special a certain knob for the oven. You do it here. So we found one. It's just like this. It's 10 years old, but it's got the different control panel up here for 75 bucks. So I thought it's the same exact one. So I thought, you know, I'll have the glass for the oven, I'll have the glass up here, I'll have all the burners, you know, these switches and whatnot, you know, for the other one, so it should last us, you know, another 10 years. So, monkey's back with our gasoline. I pulled the tractor around to air the tire up. Bruno had to go with her. Did you go on a ride? Did you go on a car ride? Did you get gas? Yeah, he's ignoring me. <laughs> so I do have a master cylinder for that. So it's got brakes, it's got back brakes, but really hard to stop. So yeah, that tire there keeps going down. I should order her a couple of tires, but uh, yeah. So all right, she's got the gas. I'll get that. Set it down. She's got the gas, and then I'm gonna put some gas in here. 
cut the front yard. I'll be back with you guys. All right, we got the yard cut. I tried to blow the driveway off with the blower, but it, the, well, the wind kept blowing it back out, so I got some of it. Let's start this thing up. Haven't started it since, what, since I moved it here, or turned it around, I should say. All right, so it's time for us to hear the infamous fan squeal for a minute. Oh, it didn't do it that time. Uh oh, hang on. <laughs> Copyright, didn't know the radio was on. Not too bad. shut it off and I'll be back with you guys all right so been running for a few minutes oh yeah this car wants to run I gotta clean it all out that's car part I gotta clean it all out And, uh, yeah, so. Hmm. Big truck stopped there for some big box truck. So, yeah. Look at that, guys. Is that showing up the camera? Our car looks yellow. Yeah, it is. Okay. Pollen time. Yeah, look at that thing. Look at this. Yeah. It's be a good day to see if that car cover fits. Let's try it. I'll get it out. All right, guys, there it is. Like I said, I don't know anything about that. I didn't even unwrap it. I trusted the guy. Of course, you know, it's only been used once. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to, my stand is around back, my tripod. So I'm going to put you on the tripod. Let's put this on here. Just kind of like vlogging with you today. So. Yeah, these tires are, this ain't even, this is one of the better spots <laughs> on the tire. The pregnant part is somewhere down underneath. I think this one had a big hoove on it. I didn't even like working on the car with that tire when that tire was pointed up with that. You know, I was afraid it was going to blow out. Uh, of course, I don't have, you know, I got the air pressure down on them so they don't sit there and blow out. That's what happened to my bicycle, both of them. One blew out one day, a few months later, sitting in there, boom, the other one blew out. <laughs> so, I did bring the air pressure down to about half on them. Because, you know, I don't want it sitting there on flat tires with the magnesium wheels. Because those are, those are custom mags, so I like the spinners on. I gotta get them cleaned up. But once we test drive it, make sure everything's gonna be all right, then I'll go ahead and detail the inside detail the outside buff it out I'll bring you along with me on that but let's just see if this car cover will will fit right oh my tripod wouldn't tighten up I was like what's going on well shoot what am I gonna do now I need another tripod monkey <laughs> we were just talking about this car I told her now I'm gonna have to order some racing seats with five point harnesses and uh, a roll cage she says she's scared of this car sorry about the wind you know I got the camera out so something's got to happen uh, so but um, dang it there we go but she said I'm scared of that car listen up guys you got a car like that it's only going to go as fast as you make it go there's no reason to be scared of it I mean she does all right in that thing it's 288 horsepower more horsepower than this thing had when it came out of the factory all right let's get this on here
So this is half of a toe strap. So it's got a cool camo pattern on it. This will probably go in my, um, yeah, my kit, my backpack. Might come in handy someday. Alright, open this up. At least once the car is washed and cleaned up, this will keep, you know, the pollen and dirt off of it. Okay, this says front. Cool. Alright, I did that alright. This is a budge. B-U-D-G-E. Budge. Since 1940. All right. Yeah, I asked him, I said, you think it'll fit a vet? He said, I know it will. He might be right. Looks barely used. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. That'll keep the pollen off of it. There's what it is. Budge. I like that it's got the tags telling you front. There's also, there's a green one that says front and a red one that says rear. <clears throat> That'll definitely keep the leaves out of the cow, out of the headlights, out of the gas tank. So, that was well $10. It's not waterproof, you know, I mean, it's got to breathe, you know, so, but I think my buddy's got a budge. Um, I know he used it for his 64 SS Impala and then he, he's got a 57 Chevy now. Now he's got a garage, mind you, he keeps it in. It never sees the rain. <laughs> And uh, uh, so he's got his 57 Chevy. It's just a four-door hard or a four-door sedan. It's a 210 series, but it's three on the tree. Originally had a six-cylinder in it. Then we bought it and we drove it home. You know, of course, to his house, and it was banging, popping, missing, backfiring. So I thought cam was bad. Well, it came with another engine. I was like, okay, cool. So I swapped that engine out for him and it did the same thing. So we thought maybe it's ignition switch. So he orders a new ignition switch. Well, that wasn't it. So he said, how the hell with it? You wanna put V8 in it? I said, sure. He said, well, let's go get a V8. So we know of a junkyard. That Saturday morning, we went up and bought a 350 and dropped down in it. But, we was driving home, there were no floorboards. I had to hold my feet up on the frame rail and yeah, it was in pretty bad shape. The frame was great and the fenders were good. The fender wells up underneath and the trunk was good. But for some reason, the inside, the floorboards were gone. I mean, not gone. You, you know, you, you drop something, it's hitting the ground. So we put, me and uh, cousin Kev, we put floor pans in it, and then he had a buddy of his uh, paint it for him, and uh, got new carpet and put in it. He had the headliner done, and now it's you know, to me it's never going to be mint. You know, it wasn't a frame off restoration, but we didn't want to do that to begin with. You know, it was all original. It's not now because of the V8, but it looks good. It runs good. 
you know, we got dual pipes on it, nothing major, no headers, just a couple glass packs, just old school. Got the blue dot tail lights in. E gearheads know what I'm talking about. But his uh man, I could have killed him when he sold that 64 Impala SS, man. He sold that thing for five thousand bucks. Oh, I was so mad at him. What the hell, dude? And then the kid, the guy, you know, loaded with money, bought it for his 16 or 17 year old kid, maybe 18 anyway, bought it for him as a gift and the first thing he did was slammed it, airbagged it. And that car was all original, numbers matching, you know, everything. The only thing that wasn't original was the paint. Well, well the wheels, I mean, they weren't original wheels, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, you know, the kid ruined that car in my book. But, so yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, let's move on to something else. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I'll go get Monkey to see what she thinks of it, but that will help out a lot. That guy was right, it fits perfect. And it is, and he said it's, he said it's in excellent condition. He says it's only been used once. Well, it looks like it's only been used once. If he hadn't have told me that, I would have thought it was still new. But, yeah, so, yeah, he said, I know it'll fit a vet. I said, all right, for 10 bucks, I'll take a chance on it. You know, because I, I thought if anything, even though it's not waterproof, if I had to cut it up, I could make, you know, like a sun awning for when we go camping or something, but that'll work. Awesome. All right, moving on. Ah, uh, supper time. 4.40. Huh. Well, I'm going to eat. Hey, everyone, shit. No, I was going to say Shaper 1000, oh. um, but this is just going in my vlog video. This is part of the vlog, because oh. I was going to do this as a separate video. Monkey bought these about eight years ago now, seems like. <laughs> uh, yeah. She said, look, we can review these. Mm -hmm. It's been several weeks anyway. Yes, it has. Well, that's okay, um, because, again, this is just part of the vlog. Battery's going dead, and I just put that in there. Hmm. <clears throat> Cheap batteries because I have no Sony batteries. Snack Club. I don't know how you pronounce that. Tajin. 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 This one. Mm -hmm. This is um, the toasted corn. I'm really interested in this because I'm not much of a peanut eater. I love cashews. I will eat peanuts once in a while, like boiled peanuts. But so this is toasted corn, chili, and lime. And here we got the Snack Club. These are the peanuts chili and lime. So I'm sure Monkey will like these because she loves peanuts. Um, she shares her peanuts with Bruno. Yeah, he loves peanuts. And it's this tear here. So that's cool. It's got a little place to tear on both of them. Mm -hmm. What do you want to try first? Let's try, try the peanuts first. Okay, this one, the toasted corn says no artificial colors or flavors and low cholesterol. <clears throat> this one says the the peanuts say seven grams of protein no artificial colors or flavors and no preservatives so oh. you wanted you said peanuts yeah we'll do the peanuts first okay and then i'll show you the uh nutrition facts here if you want to pause and read what else going on there let me check that because and nine minutes that's enough for now all right so we'll try the peanuts first it's not that I don't like peanuts, I just don't eat them very often. Right. So I can give an actual honest review because, you know, there you go. I got me a peanut. Mm-hmm. What's that so round? That's the roundest peanut I've ever seen in my life. Peanut. Dinky donk. Dinky donk. All right, here we go. Any lime or chili? Nope, I do not. Taste any seasoning? I just taste some salt, salt, maybe, and a peanut. <laughs> I taste. I taste a peanut. Yeah. Uh huh. It's good. It's a peanut. It's just a peanut. Yeah. 
That's all it is. Disappointed. I thought it would be more, you know, flavorful. I mean, yeah. it's a good peanut, but mm -hmm. I, mean, peanut. I can't even really rate that because mm -mm. it's just a damn peanut. <laughs> I don't taste anything in there. All right, so we'll do... Mm. We're going to do the toasted corn. And I'll show you the nutrition facts on this one. And if you want to pause and read it. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. I see it says mild here. Oh, all right, let me show them that. It says this one. Yeah, so maybe that's why. Down on the bottom it says mild. Yeah, but still. Yeah. Mild. I mean, to me, if if you handed me a planter's peanut and one of these and I was blindfolded, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference. No, you wouldn't. Mm -mm, not at all. And especially if you said, okay, that second one you just ate, or these, I, I'd call you a liar because I'd say, I don't taste any of that. I taste no chili, no lime. Mm -mm. I, didn't, I, I didn't even really taste the salt like you taste on planters. I taste the salt. Well, that's well, it. Everybody's taste buds different, I get Yeah. But mild, mild what? There's nothing in here but a peanut. Right. Okay, so this one's mild too. Mm -hmm. And they got it in a flame. Ha! Ah! Hmm. I mean, they look good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know that? Dinky dunk. I'm tasting that. Are you? I am tasting chili, lime, and some seasoning. Kudos on these ones. Really? I don't taste anything. Just the salt. I got corn. And I put two together in that one. Now this I will give two thumbs up. I'll give a three out of five. Mm. I think I can taste a little bit of the lime, but not very I'll much. tell you what, you can taste a hell of a lot more than this. Oh, this yeah. You can't you taste any, no. nothing on here. No. Mm -mm. This one, you can taste chili and lime. Mm -hmm. Well, at least I can. Mm-hmm. Taste it now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think These what it is good. is what one you get, you know. Mm. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Peanuts, like I said, they're not bad. They're just peanuts. Right. Yeah. Just regular peanuts. These are good. These are really good. I can actually taste the lime and the chili. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. they're not super hard like most of those are. That one I just got had a lot of lime in it. Mm-hmm. Very good. See, this one's not as much as the first one I ate, but it's still there. I can still mm -hmm. taste it. Right. And they're not as super hard like most of them are. Most of these will crack your damn teeth. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Hmm. These, not these ones, but... Mm-hmm. I, I believe I bought them at Dollar Tree for $1.25 each. So I just ate two um, and I can really taste it. Mm -hmm. It's not overwhelming. In fact, I want to say four out of five stars for me on this one with two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. What are you going? About three. Three stars? Mm -hmm. Does it get two thumbs up though? Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. we got a three and a four. Uh -huh. That one, I'm not even going to rate it. it. To me, that's just a piece. That's just a I do a T two because I did. I did taste the salt in this oh, but yeah, you're gonna yeah i give it a two but um, so she's rating it i'm not because so basically it's a, it's a peanut with salt on it which is peanuts planners <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's right i couldn't even taste the salt on that one and so i don't know if it's just you just get lucky and get a few in your hands and i don't know maybe but to me it's a peanut how much was these you said? Dollar twenty-five. Dollar Tree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want peanuts, yeah, they're well worth a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you like these little corn things, well worth a dollar twenty-five. But these are these are delicious. He likes this. And the peanut don't don't get me wrong. The 
peanut flavor is a good peanut flavor. Mm -hmm. It's worth the money, but I wouldn't give any more than $1.25 for them. No, no. Whereas these, I would give $1.75 for this bag. Yeah. Yeah, I would because I really like these. But they're both fine. It's just, I'm not saying don't buy these. Right. If you like peanuts, you'll like them. Yeah. But don't don't think you're going to go bust a flavor. Yeah, don't think you're going to get, oh, it's not. mild and it's you're not going to taste chili and lime in these peanuts. Mm-mm. No. But if you just want want some peanuts, yeah, grab them. They are they are very good peanuts. It's just I I can't really rate them. I can't rate something I don't <laughs> taste. I right. mean, if that was the case, I would give it a zero because I taste zero, and I don't want to give them a zero because the peanut is actually good. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather just not rate it. To be fair, mm -hmm. I'm not saying you know. You know, would I buy them again if I was in the mood for peanuts? Sure. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, but just don't. But I wouldn't. Back. Yeah, I wouldn't buy them expecting to taste the only lime. No. Mm -mm. So they're fine. Well, okay. That's that's part of my my vlog for today. Still haven't heard back from that guy about the stew. No, that was disappointing. So I was, I was all geared up. They ready to go. To, here it is, six thirty. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I text another one. And he's seen a message because it's on Messenger and you know when their face pops up beside you, you know they read it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the hell with you, dude. You either want to sell something or you don't. Right. At least get back with the person that's interested. You yeah, know? just saying. I didn't sorry. even sound like a bot. I was like, hey, when can we come and get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I didn't ask much question what size is it, what kind of shape. Look, <laughs> you know, I'll come and get it. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So that was a bust because it would be a bit perfect for what we want to do. So mm -hmm. um, maybe he will later. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll we're see. not in a big hurry, but we need to get one. <laughs> no, it's not. And I mean, the stove top works fine. Yeah, and summer's coming. We can use the barbecue if we have to. And yeah, it's not something we need right this minute. Right. Like right. if the whole thing didn't work, I mean, we'd have to just go get one. Right. But, but you know we don't I mean, want to go too far days. either a lot of them are yeah, in not, Orlando you know I'm not Kansas driving City. two I'm not driving two hours to go get a stove you know. I'm just not mm -hmm. going to do that I don't care how cheap it is no. mm -mm. I don't care if they said it's free come and get it I'm not that because that's a four hour drive yeah it's a long way it's two hours long. there takes five minutes to load it up mm -hmm. two hours but it's a four hour drive of, no, so I want to find something within the area you know yeah so if I have to, I'll try to go to a discount, um, mm -hmm. a discount appliance store, yeah. um, and look there. Um, but yeah, we're not wanting a new one anyway, so. No, no, no. You know, that one right there. Uh, um, this exact one we have is two thousand yeah. dollars. Nineteen hundred ninety-nine dollars, two grand for that one right there. Yeah. While well, the touch pads upgraded, because mm -hmm. that's that was having problems with them, but. I'm not giving two grand for. <laughs> I'd be hard pressed to give three hundred fifty dollars for a stove. I don't care. I mean, there's so many out there that are used and they look brand new or haven't been used much that you don't lot, need well, to go out and buy don't, brand new. A lot, a lot of people don't cook much anymore anyway. No, they don't. As you get older, you don't really. I do. I oh. just cooked a little bit ago. You guys saw it. She was <laughs> sleeping, so she don't know. But I showed you guys. Yeah. That I was getting ready to eat, but guess what? Monkey got some too. <laughs> yeah, I, I I made I always make extra. You know? Yeah. But I always tease her. I'm like, yeah, I made me some stir fry. She said, oh, with your chicken. I'm like, yep. Mm. <laughs> this is good. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> then when she came out, like, okay, there was plenty good. there. I was like, I made extra for you too. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I know you do. <laughs> Monday we're putting the tires on the vet. They're right behind us. Yeah. New tires. Yeah, they've seen them. Yeah, so. They're back there. Yeah. I, they're somewhere. I showed them to you earlier. All right, I got a battery light blinking, I think. Yep. All right, I'll be back with you. Let me change my battery. Maybe we'll go outside and talk or something. All right. All right. We'll check out the breeze. <laughs> yeah, we'll check out the breeze. Nice breeze out there. Mm -hmm. Hang on, let me change my battery. Okay, so let's see if Bruno likes the peanut. You want a peanut?
Okay, two thumbs down from him because he... He eats peanuts. Well, he... Huh? No. Oh. He loves peanuts. So maybe... For him to... taste the flavor in there more than we can? I don't know. He don't like it. No, he's rolling it because it's... Yeah, he don't, He likes the peanut. He's trying to, but he doesn't no. like what's See, happened. if that was a regular peanut... He would already ate it. That would have been gone. He'd been begging for more. Yeah. I would say he's not real happy about it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. He don't like it. He ate it, but he didn't really. No. He did eat it. But usually you give him a peanut and it's gone. Yeah, he loves peanuts. We got some brew. Let's go outside. <laughs> That's funny. He ate it, but he didn't care for it. Yeah. Oh crap! We grab my lighter. In the garage. All right, so that car cover fits nice. That's good. Man, can't get over all this pollen. Look at that, that's crazy. Well, not really, I've seen worse, but. Wrong lighter. The one that's right beside the ashtray? Red one? Yeah. Is it beside the ashtray? There's one on the other side of the ashtray, too. Hang on, guys. Yeah, so, man, last night, <laughs> I was looking online for something for monkey wasn't it your tripod yeah for your camera she she uh she bought one through timu which is a nice it's a nice tripod what it is it's a selfie it's a selfie stick yeah mm -hmm. it's a selfie stick but the handle part flips out and you can use it as a tripod but it's shorter than what she thought it's only like 20 inches or something but it's a nice tripod. Yeah. So it I, was, is. I was looking for a tripod for her. Right. And and I and I found a good one for her. But when I was looking at it, when I first started looking, I seen an ad pop up for DJI Osmos Action 3. The same camera I just bought her. Hers is remanufactured. It's got a two-year warranty, so that's good. It was $199. And I seen that um Amazon said they you know how those ads pop up they're promoting this ad 40% off the DJI DJI Cosmos 3 the action 3 camera same exact one I bought her yeah. $199 <laughs> and it's not rebuilt it's usually those uh, like the ones you got usually it's because someone broke a, a, a screen or something you know right. but with the two-year warranty I was like hell it's worth it I was like no way she said what and I said look this is the camera I just bought you she said yeah $199 I said yeah but this one's brand new she goes oh it's originally like almost 350 bucks yeah so I was like man that's 40 percent off she goes what do you want it I said, well, yeah. She goes, we can be twins. And I him hauled around about it. She said, well, how long is it on sale? I said, I don't know. She goes, you better just get it. <laughs> for, I mean, for the same price as I got. And I've been wanting one anyway. So I got that coming. So I said, so we're going to be twins, as she called it. Yeah, twins. So we're going to have the same cameras. That'll be good if we want to do a multi a different camera angles. Mm -hmm. like, like when I was doing my races. And it'll be good for you because if it's raining out, you can't yeah. use your good one because it's not waterproof. I do have, uh, yeah, I do have raincoats for, like, this camera. Really, it's just a plastic bag. Yeah. And it's not technically for this exact camera. It's actually for a, for a, uh, what do you call it, DSLR camera. Mm -hmm. But it'll work on here. But... I'm always afraid that that's going to blow off yeah. or something. This camera cannot get wet. So. I was an owl. <laughs> Owls are out. So, anyway, she said, well, you've been wanting one and you need one. And like I said, a lot of times I'll do different camera angles to where, like, I have to set up two cameras. Or I want to, but I can't. 
like when we was drag racing the slot cars. Right. And the only reason why I couldn't is because of the sound. Yeah. The sound. I can use the sound from this camera, but then you got to sync it up with the other camera footage and all that, and it never syncs up perfect because every camera is different. So this way I can have the same sound audio. Mm -hmm. But also, it'll be handy for like when we're working on cars. Like that truck is coming up soon. We're going to be rebuilding it. I can put it on a magnet mount and stick it on the hood and point right. it down mm -hmm. and whatnot, stuff like that. So it's going to be a lot handier for me. Yeah. And this will be mostly just for static, you know, uh -huh. like reviews and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, it's getting dark. I don't know. Monkey, you want to talk about anything? No. Don't you have a video coming up? You got to announce what Dennis won in the mystery giveaway that you never done yet? <laughs> yeah, I should do that one. I have never done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's who won. Well, you, well, yeah, they yeah. know that. Yeah. Well, I don't even know if they know that, but you need to. Yeah, they know. I think I mentioned it. Yeah, but you need to do just a quick video, five-minute video, because you promised. Yeah, I should. Okay. So, <laughs> but, um, what was I going to say? Oh, so one night, the neighbors next to us over here, so there's like an empty, like, okay, see, here's a lot here, an empty lot. And then the neighbor's house and they own both of those and there might even be two lots here but there's an open lot here in these woods and then we got the neighbors there so they come out and they hang out and stuff usually on the weekends and they don't make a lot of noise do they no but if you come out you can hear them laughing and joking nice people yeah, and uh young. yeah they're nice people younger people they bought that house so <laughs> One night, I was like, what the hell? Because Alexa went off and said someone someone was at the door. Or what she says when the camera, when the rain goes off, Alexa will, will notify us too. I was like, what the hell? And I looked out in time to see a younger guy walking away. And I thought, what the hell? He didn't even come to the door, you know? And he was parked right there behind the truck. <laughs> and he got in the car i was like what the hell so i went in and looked at in in the cameras and watched the cameras he come up here and as soon as ring started to talk to him and said hello you're currently being recorded oh he did he just had like a soft drink in his hand yeah <laughs> and he stops and he turns around and he leaves so when I watch the videos, you can see his brake lights come on there. I think he went there to their house. Because yeah. I seen him a couple hours later leaving in the same car. So I think he just got the wrong house. Yeah. <laughs> but it was funny because he stopped. Enough. Here, I'll put that clip in right now. Hi, you are currently being recorded. And yeah, so that, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> we got some funny stuff on That there, was funny. <laughs> I mean, you can tell he wasn't somebody that was up to no, no good. He just he's... got the wrong house. He was yeah. pro Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Now, these neighbors over here are never there no more. No. I mean, they still technically live there, but she hasn't lived there since what, Christmas? Yeah. Around December. They'll come back every couple days for 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah. And they'll do what they gotta do or whatever, maybe check things out and then they leave again. Yeah. But it, I think it was, I think she was split up or going through divorce or something. And then I think they, they maybe they got back together. Yeah, I think Cause right after they moved in, her ex was there i guess he was picking up the kids because the kids got in the truck when he left it was on a friday and they was arguing about something not like a mean you know they was having a discussion but i could hear him you know talking about the truck and stuff like that and 
you know, she said, when are you going to have the kids back? So I don't know if maybe she got another boyfriend or if they got back together. I think they got back but, together. But, you know, you got to sign a lease and so maybe, but still, it'd be cheaper to break that lease than it would to pay for a whole year of rent. Yeah. You know, because you know that's probably over $1,000 for rent. Oh, yeah. Easy. Yes, guys, I said $1,000. The house I was renting, those of you that have been following me for a while, in my hometown of Cambridge, uh, when I had the Suburban, that two-story house. It was like 2,000 square feet or something. Mm -hmm. And um, I was only paying 475 a month for there, mm. or 425. Might've been 425, but I was only paying that there. But down here, that same house would be going for almost two grand. We could rent this house if we wanted with no problem, rent. We could, we could rent this house for 1,200 bucks a month, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's probably what he's got going on there. So yeah, rent's very expensive down here. And this is only 800 square feet. Yeah. You know? That's and that's with off. that's with the garage, guys. That is with the garage. It's cheaper to buy in Florida than it is to rent. Mm-hmm. A lot cheaper. Yeah. Because, like, if, if you buy... All right, let's say you're renting a house. Like I said, this house... If I was going to rent it, it'd be twelve hundred bucks a month. Mm -hmm. But you can you can buy a house for around seven hundred and fifty a month. Mm -hmm. a, a nice house. Yeah. Like this house, payments would probably only be about seven fifty a month on it to buy it. Yeah. And it's appraised at over a hundred thousand now, so that's good. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> she gave twenty nine nine for it when she bought it. Yeah. Of course, she remodeled, and um, the only thing, it's 99.9% .9 LEDs in there. Yeah. So, the whole house inside is LED, except for the one light, the glass light over the dining room table. It's just got one regular little tiny bulb in it that gets really hot, mm -hmm. which you can get an LED for it, That's and the garage is not, lights. yeah. And the garage is not LED, but they're going to be. Yeah. I'm going to upgrade that. As soon as I clean it out, I'm going to upgrade it to LEDs. The same ones we got in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But these are, a, but the whole house from the garage back is now considered 100% LED. They won't count that one above the, the dining room table because it's just a dining light. Right. And they don't count the vanity lights. They're not LED, but the main light in the bathroom is LED. So we're all LEDs in here, so. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Anything else, Monk? You want to plug your channel? Sure. Watch Monkey 1000. I'm wonderful. Okay. I said <laughs> your channel. Give me stuff. Give me a stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that was one day she mentioned me in her video, and I was watching her video together. <laughs> And she mentioned me. She said, see, I put a spark plug in for your channel. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> well, you're always putting spark plugs in for me. What are you talking about? I said, oh, put a plug in. She said, yeah, like you put in cars, right? And I'm like, no, honey, not that kind of plug. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, I mentioned you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the car cover looks great on there. Going to work gonna work fine so yeah it won't be long that'll be out for its maiden voyage huh yeah I was gonna put I was gonna put the um, master cylinder on it today because it's only gonna take a few minutes but I wasn't gonna bleed the brakes yet because I got a tool that I'm gonna review and I'm gonna it's for bleeding brakes so I was just going to bleed them tomorrow. She was going to come out and be with me, and then instead she puts another YouTube video on. Halfway through that YouTube video, she falls asleep, <laughs> and I'm getting hungry, so I'm like, hell with it, I'm going to eat. And now, as you can see, it's getting dark, so. And 
I'll probably throw that on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I bought a tool for bleeding brakes. I want to try it out and we'll review it. So if not, there's my brake bleeder right there. Pump it, hold it. <laughs> I pump it, hold it. <laughs> I've done many of them, so no big deal. Yeah, like I said, it does, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, what, the Conjuring movie? That ain't scary. I helped my dad bleed brakes when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> I said, fucking hold it. What'd you let off for? Now you just got all the air I took out back in it. <laughs> No, my dad didn't do that. He was, because I did it right. <laughs> you probably knew what you were doing at that age. Usually he was pumping. Usually he was pumping the brakes. I'm bleeding them. <laughs> Here, Dad, let me get under there. I want to bleed them. You sure? Yeah, I'll pump them. Or you go pump them, I'll bleed them. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Okay, so guys, I guess that's it for my vlog. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Yep. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000. Yeah. And uh, so Dennis Hawbacker is sending me something so i'll be he doing a, yeah i'll be doing a review on that and um but i wanted to mention mention to you guys something i want to put he had to he had to start another channel because somehow google wasn't letting him in his account or something uh. so i'll put a link to his new channel it's the same he he's got the same um what do you call it thumbnail his yeah. picture mm -hmm. so he'll be easy to find but I'll go ahead and put put his uh, put a link to his new channel in the description and then I'll do it when I get the thing he's sending me so uh, I can't get into my Facebook I'm having trouble with that one I have oh. two and it's my other one with all my family on it I can't get into yeah, yeah. Well, alright I might have to do a new new one on that yeah. Then you have three. No, because I can't get into this one, so I'll just have to do a new Your main one. one. Yeah. I can't yeah. help you there. I've tried and tried, and when I... It says you can send a code. Yeah. And, and I... It's supposed to send me a code. It has my phone number right and everything, and it just won't. Okay. Well, anyway, I wanted to mention that. I really don't care about Facebook. Well, sorry, I have my I get on it. On there, I so. get on it. Well, all my family's on it, yeah. so you know. I mean, but the only reason why I have it's for Messenger, really. Mm -hmm. You know, because she asked me the other day, "Is your face working? Or is your Facebook working? Because it's supposed to be down all over." And I'm like, "I don't know. I haven't been on it today. <laughs> yeah. I just have it for Messenger for my family. That's all. I get on it." You know, about maybe three times a week, scroll see if I see any funny things. Mm -hmm. But I do have, but I do have a, I do have a, um, I do have a paranormal page on there. Do. Yes, and I also have a Shea Bear One Thousand. So go to YouTube, check that out. I do have Shea Bear One Thousand on there. You have that paranormal group, right? The That's what, yeah, group. the page. Yeah, it's a group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a group. Uh, it's called, um, oh, God. <laughs> uh -huh. um, what, what's it called? I don't know. Paranormal. paranormal Share. Yeah. It's got a picture of a house that I actually videotaped. the thumbnail so yeah so if you want to check me out on Facebook that's good shameless plug there that I wasn't expecting to but at least it's not every time <laughs> you know it's like most of them guys hey guys today we're going camping out here in the woods but first I need you to comment like subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon don't forget to follow me on Facebook Twitter grinder fans only you know check me out on all that before I show you so make sure you hit the hit the like button before you watch this video it doesn't make sense 
I'm sure my followers, some of my followers that have been following me since I first started, there might be some videos they don't like. Nice. Why am I going to ask them to thumbs up a video, you know, like if, if they're not going to like it? Right. Like some people ain't going to watch, they're not going to watch a video of me changing, There's you know. In that. Yeah, they're not interested in, in, in rebuilding a carpet or something. So why would they like that video if they don't like the video? Right. You know. They're not going to. And that's why I've, I do so much stuff because, you know, I don't want to like... Or do put up so many videos through the week because I don't want to like do one video a week and and like it be a car part video and if someone's not interested in that they'd rather see me do a cooking video. Right. You know they don't have to wait four or five weeks for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I put out a lot of content. So all right, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Say bye, Bruno. Bye. Okay. Aww. His ears <laughs> went up. Did you see that? <laughs> no. Aww. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching.